And we're broadcasting live from Hard Crash Micro Hard Washington, home of the loudest and most caffeinated strung out stadium in the league. So grab your Vente double shot, non fat, skinny chai iced tea lattes, and try not to let your ears bleed as we get ready for kickoff. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team storm the field. The Cardinal Sins go up against the Micro Hard Mutilators. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Welcome to MFL Sunday School, where the good playbook teaches it's an eye for no reason, a tooth for an eight ball, and a limb for just looking at me the wrong way. MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow, my partner's Bricks and Bricks Jr., and then these guys flat out want to kill each other today. Yeah, these are the kind of games families come out to see. It's good for the sport. You know what I like about this home team is 90% of them were born criminally insane. You can't teach that. I, 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 I. Hit. I don't want to set another hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. Sandwich. Second down and five. Third down and ten. Hunter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Third down and long. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico. Rather, to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they are not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? And it's first and ten. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. And into the end zone for a touchdown! What 
to get his hands on that pass. He was on to the racing. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. First and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Oh, that guy? Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Bram. First down and less than a defense says enough of this BS. Offsides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First down and three. Second down and five. Oh, man, I love the He slips that one in there for a touchdown. How have they not killed him yet? He's wearing a new mink coat, for God's sake. He's seven layers of smarmy, Grim. Second down and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Second down in a mile. He picks up a two. Third down and never going to happen. And he breaks away. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? Well First down and one.
off another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the funeral expenses, that is. Second and three. Great throw and a great catch. Yeah, but, but it was an interception. Did you ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I had. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. Yeah, it was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Second down and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw. Oh man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, I'm gonna switch on Ryan with the uh, no mustard. I still want syrup. I want hell no syrup. comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade, Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. First down, and the running game opens up for, with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. for a yard. Second down and nine. Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose. Unless you're in a sleeping contest. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he's got... Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. No, oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And there's another pick. Man, if 
there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? And it's first and ten. And that's a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. Hey, man, I was hanging on the now. now. They all have... <laughs> Second down and a lot. And he rumbles for big yardage on that play. They're back in business, Bricks. My mom told me to stay out of other people's businesses, Grim. Third down and eight. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the jugular and rushes to kill the court. It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. And it's first and ten. a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. <laughs> the offense lost their last quarterback. Next time their offense comes out on the field, they will have to forfeit the game. And it's first and ten.